I'm really excited. It's turning into my little like laundry cleaning kind of battle station and I really like it. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> Good morning guys, so we started our day with a fun little delivery from Amazon, which wasn't expected until next Wednesday, so that's always exciting. I mean, it's not the most exciting delivery from Amazon, but I'm always excited no matter what kind of package it gets delivered. So, we got, I actually ordered this yesterday, so it's so crazy that it got here today, but we got some Ziploc sandwich bags, because we're out. <laughs> we got a stock of the Mrs. Myers Clean Day uh, Lemon Verbena Hand Soap. We got three of these because we are out of hand soap and so we needed a bunch more for the various bathrooms around the house. And then we got something which I've been meaning to order for a while. We got a little um, spice like step organizer thing that we're gonna put in the little spice cabinet in the kitchen. And so hopefully I will get that all organized today. It ju it'll just make the spices you know easier to see and access with the little like stepped up system. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get that all set up today. But now I think we're gonna do something really exciting. We're gonna go downstairs into the laundry room and get the um, Dyson charging station thing hung up as well as the little like broom and like Swiffer little hangy system that we previously had in the pantry in our old apartment. We're gonna hang those two up in the laundry room and I'm really excited it's turning into my little like laundry cleaning kind of battle station and I really like it. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> done we got everything all hung up in this nice neat little corner right next to my like cleaning closet and it looks awesome big round of applause to my amazing wife because projects that we tackle are never as easy as we think there should be <laughs> so it took a little longer than we thought but we got it all done everything is hung up and it's perfect all right so I edited a vlog we had a bit of lunch we had some more um, tomato soup and grilled cheese and I just put in a load of laundry so that we have clean clothes for the week and now I think I'm going to sit down and work on my bullet journal for a bit. And I have some company over here, cute little muncheroony sleeping away. And Melissa is in the kitchen here, I'll show you guys. She is making like the tastiest smelling chili I have ever, like it smells like heaven in my house right now. Here's what's going on in here. So look at that, like, oh my goodness, I'm so... <laughs> the raw meat. Yes, it looks good. It smells like freaking amazing. And she's using um, our La Cruz or Le Crusette, like, what's it, what, is, what would it be called? It's a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven. And my sister got this for us for our wedding, and it's like literally so perfect. It's white with gold, like, finishes, and I love it. So this week we're having that chili, um, I think... The first, are we eating it plain first or are we eating it on the potatoes? No, tomorrow we're just having chili. Tomorrow we're having chili. And then Tuesday we're having ch baked potatoes with chili. And then... And then we're just having baked potatoes. No. No? No. Okay. No. Then I'll probably make the Moroccan chicken if we okay. want. Or we can have chili. Yeah, Melissa found lunches. all of these like amazing, amazing healthy recipes for dinner this week, and I'm so pumped about all of them. So yeah, we're starting with that chili on baked potato, or no, we're starting with that chili by itself, and then having it on baked potatoes. How good does that sound? Chili on baked potatoes. Like, I'm so pumped. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So, I know that you guys like when we do cooking stuff, um, or when I do cooking stuff on the vlog, and so, I uh, and Merritt was telling you guys that we're trying to, like... I'm like trying to like get back on track with like eating healthy and all that. So I'm trying to like make myself breakfast for the week. So I'm making like these really easy um, kind of egg, they're called prosciutto cups. You basically take prosciutto, put it in a muffin pan and then crack an egg in it with some spinach and stick it in the oven. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to cook them depending on how done you want them. And then uh, it probably is gonna take me like five minutes or less to prepare everything. So I figured I, I blah, 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 words. Uh, I figured I would show you guys because it'll be really short and just interesting, hopefully. And of course, Merit will put the recipe in the description if I like it. So everything that you need, prosciutto, 
spinach, eggs, salt and pepper, and a muffin pan. And obviously, like, I think that one of those kind of like, uh, the Reynolds brand, like the aluminum foil, they make those like, uh, disposable baking things. You probably use one of those if you wanted. Um, you don't need to do anything to the baking pan. You just put the prosciutto down in it. You put some spinach in there. Then you crack the egg over top when and then you put salt and pepper and you put it in the oven. And you do it at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes will supposedly end up being more of like hard boiled egg with the yolk. 10 minutes is probably with a runnier yolk. So depending on how you like your eggs done, uh, you pick your time and then I'm just gonna, you know, probably like take two to work in the morning to eat them for breakfast. Um, so hopefully I can make at least 10. I don't know how many slices are in this thing. Um, but I bought some bacon just in case because I think you can kind of do the same thing. Maybe cook it a little longer though. Um, with bacon, you just kind of like put it around the, uh, edge of the muffin pole. <laughs> but here we go. Got the prosciutto in the cups. I only had eight slices, but for the sake of the recipe, I'm just gonna use the eight slices and like cooking times for different things. Bacon's a little thicker than this, um, and that definitely has to be cooked. This stuffed prosciutto, it does not, you can eat it right out of the package. It doesn't need to be cooked. It just gets really nice and crispy and crunchy. It's actually excellent on top of pizza. Um, that's the oven, preheated. So um, for now, I'm just gonna do these eight cups and then I'll do some with the bacon later this week. But, uh, like you guys saw, I just kind of worked, you know, it's, it's not the shape of a, of a, <laughs> of a circle. So I just kind of worked each one into each cup and made sure it, you know, lined the edge enough to, uh, go around the whole egg once it's cracked in there. So now I'm just going to throw some spinach right in there and then crack an egg on top and put some salt and pepper and then put it in the oven. those in the oven and now I set the timer for 15 minutes. I feel like the only time that you would make them and not set the timer for 15 minutes to more um, hard boil them rather than have them a little bit runny. Like if you're going to serve them right away, I feel like that would be good. But if you're not going to serve them right away, I would suggest just personally, personal preference, cooking them all the way to hard boiled because I'll probably like pop them in the microwave at work or something to like heat them up a little bit when I eat them. So, and I don't know how well like runny yolk like, like keeps and like putting it in the refrigerator. So anyway, I left pepper off of three of them as well in case Mara wants to eat some um, because I like pepper and she does not love it so much. So yeah, so we'll see how they turn out. I'll let you guys know. Also, just to give you guys an update on the chili, I'm gonna start that over because I don't know if that was recording yet. Also to give you guys an update on the chili, uh, hold on, I don't know what time it is. Uh, 5.09, 5.10. So I started this probably all finished in the pot and just with the lid on, I think by like, like 3.20 probably. So it's been simmering for almost two hours. And it looks pretty amazing. Cannot wait to eat this tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty good. Here are how Melissa's delicious little egg cups look. How tasty does that look? I'm so excited to try one. Good job, baby. <laughs> and how's the chili looking? Oh my god. That looks I so love good. love winter food. I know, right? Chili is like one of my favorite things. Whole lot of cheese, sour cream, some scallions. Oh, scallions, that's what I forgot to get. Oh, we can get some sometime. Oop. <laughs> It's hot, but it's good. Yeah? <laughs> I 
Alright, well we are going to get ready to head out. We're having dinner with my parents tonight because they are making macaroni and cheese using the cheese from all the leftover like uh, cheese and crackers from like you know, over the holidays and stuff. So my mom always ends up with a ton of leftover cheese and she's making all of that into macaroni and cheese. And so we are going to go over and partake in that dinner. <laughs> Alrighty, we're back from dinner and it's actually the end of the night. We had a super yummy dinner of homemade macaroni and cheese with all sorts of the leftover cheeses from over the holiday like I was telling you guys about. It was so, so good. And she also put like a couple pieces of bacon on top of like the breadcrumbs on top of macaroni and cheese. So like, oh my god, it was, it was so good. It was so like, you just tasted like you were eating like, I don't know. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. Um, but yeah, while we were there, also we got more stuff from my parents' attic. So we got all these boxes. And I already started going through a couple of them. Because a lot of it is like my old American Girl stuff. And so I just wanted to like, I forgot kind of like what stuff I had. It was really, really cool. Like that um, little trunk, like train trunk thing. Um, has like all sorts of cool clothes in it and some of my stuff. I know this isn't even all of it all of my American Girl stuff. I know they still have a bunch of stuff because there's like a lot of clothes that aren't here, a lot of furniture and stuff. But yeah, it was really fun to kind of like start walking back through memory lane and taking out all my American Girl doll stuff and seeing all of it. So yeah, that was really exciting. But um, yeah, so I think we're going to head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night.